Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Incredibly Weird Toys, where we take a deep dive into a particular decade to uncover some of the weirdest toys out there. Today we are continuing our series with the toys of the 2000s. And remember, we only have a few spots, so if you can think of any more super weird toys from the 2000s, let me know in the comments down below. Let's go! Number 7. Little Stone Cold I mean, talk about a niche item. This is so specific. It's not like this doll made everyone's Christmas shopping for their wrestling friends easier. In fact, I think it just left them more confused. Little Stone Cold is a porcelain doll made by the Danbury Mint, made in the image of disrespectful wrestling tough guy Stone Cold Steve Austin, who comes with Stone Cold's signature vest and blue jeans along with a hat and the Smoking Skull WWF Championship belt. The Danbury Mint explains that he's Stone Cold Steve Austin's biggest fan, and he's the first all-porcelain collector doll officially authorized by the World Wrestling Federation. I'm still just trying to figure out who the target audience is for this scary-looking redneckish baby. You know, is it wrestling grandmas? Is it male doll collectors? Is it you? And yes, to answer your question, they made a Dwayne The Rock Johnson doll as well. Number 6. Aqua Dots what can you dot, then spray, for fun that stays? Aqua Dot! Start with a design and pop, 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 your Aqua Dot! Also known as Bindies, Beedos, Pixos, and Aqua Beads, Aqua Dots were the anticipated hot toy for the 2007 holiday season. The small, colored plastic beads could be arranged on a tray, sprayed to fuse together, and dried to make the craft a whole. This toy wasn't weird by any means. It's actually pretty neat. But what's weird is what ended up happening with these beads. Despite the warning for ages 4 and up on the package, cases began trickling in from children being rushed to the hospital after ingesting the beads, children experiencing seizures and left in unresponsive comas. Aquadots were then recalled after it was discovered the factory in China where the beads were made used a cheap industrial chemical instead of the safer chemical specified by the designers. Once ingested, the chemical on the beads turned into GHB the date rape drug. One toddler who swallowed some of the beads ended up with permanent brain damage, loss of fine motor skills, and their sense of smell. The family was awarded over $430,000 for medical bills and pain and suffering. Later, safer replacements of the toy were marketed and a bitter tasting coating was added to the beads to discourage children from ingesting them. Number 5. Love and Licks Puppy how wet will you get from a Love and Licks kiss? So wet you need a towel. How wet will you get from a Love and Licks kiss? So wet you should wear a bathing suit. He's so happy that you'll get so wet you'll need a raincoat. Love and Licks, you better make I think this came out around 2006 or so, and I didn't know it was possible to say wet so many times in a commercial. You'll get, you'll get, so wet, you'll need a raincoat. This lovable pooch by Playmates allowed children to experience the joy and love of a puppy without their parents having to pick up after it. The pupper is touch sensitive and responds to your loving pets by wagging his tail, barking, and kicking his hind leg. But best of all, if you really, really, really love him, he'll make you wet. It's so wet, you should wear a bathing suit. Innocent, right? But the world is a sick, sick place full of sickos, and I think we all know what the subliminal undertone here is. And watching for more than five seconds of this ad is enough to make you super uncomfortable. With a narrator asking how wet all these little kids are going to get with this disturbing dog tongue. So to all of you in the comments, I'm gonna ask you, how wet will you get from a Love and Licks kiss? So wet, you'll need yourself a boat, governor! Number 4. Squeeze Popper Huggables Squeeze Popper Huggables by Hogwild. Paddle and Whip sold separately. These gems by Hogwild feature soft and cuddly plush creatures like penguins, hedgehogs, and pandas, where you can insert a foam ball into their mouths and shoot it up to 20 feet. The harder you squeeze, the farther they shoot. But the entire concept and creative choice of packaging makes this bear look like he's either in a heated hostage situation or the star of a sexy BDSM movie. If this toy wasn't weird enough, when the ball is removed from the creature's mouth, it looks like something a guy would really enjoy spending 
spending time with. Number 3. The Nimbus 2000 Broomstick Debuting in 2001, the Harry Potter film franchise created quite the uproar and sparked a frenzy of Potter mania. With this came magical merchandise like potion bottles, wands, costumes, candy, board games, scarves, plushies, and broomsticks. That's not just a broomstick, Harry! It's a Nimbus 2000! Introducing the Nimbus 2000 by Mattel. Every Quidditch player dreams of riding a Nimbus 2000. Now, just like Harry Potter, you too can train with the Gryffindor Quidditch team on the gold standard of broomsticks. Simulates the sensation of flying. Push button for magical swooshing sounds. But what the box didn't tell you was push the button to make magical vibration sensations. That's right, kids stick the broomstick between their legs and feel the vibrating sensations of flying. How this product made it through the focus group meetings, I don't know. Of course, parents noticed this unsettling feature and left comments on Amazon's page to warn other parents like, keep the batteries out. While others flooded the page with more humorous comments like, I was afraid my daughter would think it was too babyish, but she loves this toy. Even my daughter's friends enjoy playing with this fun toy. I was surprised at how long they could just sit in her room and play with this magic broomstick. It wasn't long before the vibrating Nimbus 2000 made its way into sex shops, and Amazon later removed the Nimbus advert from its website. Number 2. The Super Soaker Oozinator Released in 2006 by Hasbro, the Oozinator was part of the beloved Super Soaker family and really stood out among the others on the market. I mean, look at this gun. It looks like it came from another planet, from an alien hive, harboring new and insane alien technologies. What's going to come out the other end? Green alien slime? Glow-in-the-dark ooze? Black alien tar? Oh, yeah! How about a milky white suggestive substance? How this commercial got approved boggles my mind. It looks like kids are shooting male fluid all over each other, and this is my favorite description of the commercial. And I quote, The commercial depicted said compound being forcefully ejected onto unwilling children. And to top it all off, the substance was called bio ooze. Not alien ooze or slimy ooze, bio ooze, as in it's a biological substance. <laughs> Say what? The gun could shoot water in one mode up to 35 feet and in another spray mode, shoot off that bio ooze up to 20 feet and came with a 10 ounce supply of bio ooze, which you could also buy refills of. There is also a legend out there that the ooze was supposed to be green, which maybe would have made this product a tad more innocent if you changed the color to green and called it alien ooze or something. But because it would have cost Hasbro extra to have the substance colored green, they left the bio ooze in its original milky fluid form. And number one, breast milk baby. Last but certainly not least, let's talk about Breast Milk Baby, the controversial Dolly. Girls gone wild! I mean, girl power. I'm all for breastfeeding, but let's face it, most of the world out there doesn't really see boobs as Mother Nature's spiritual bonding nectar vessels for precious little babies. I mean, that's what they're there for. They're to feed the baby. Girls gone wild! Little children are meant to wear the special bib with magnetic flower nipples, and once the doll mouth touches it, it makes a slurpy slurpy sound. As the little girl or boy would wear this vest. Put the doll up to the chest. It starts to make suckling sounds. Yes, it's a way to normalize breastfeeding, but the general consensus on this doll seemed to be that it's a little too much too soon for a three-year-old to worry about pretending to lactate. Another said, I am all for breastfeeding, but this is gross. Let kids be kids for heaven's sake. Would you give this doll to your daughter? So there you have it, seven incredibly weird toys from the 2000s. Man, some of those were pretty weird. So in the comments down below, please let me know some of your favorite weird toys and which toy you think from this list was the weirdest. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come out with new videos every week. Come check me out on social media and help support the channel on Patreon. So thank you all so much for watching and stay legendary.